Dip spin application. When that's mentioned to uh, various industrial people, coders and whatnot, uh, they all kind of look quizzically like, what is dip spin? Well, dip spin is a form of application of producing a very thin film on small miscellaneous parts using centrifugal force to control the film thickness. We have a customer that we produce a product uh, privately for them under their label and uh, they had asked us to develop a coating that would work in a dip spin application for small parts such as uh, under hood products of fasteners, screws and clamps etc. for the automotive industry. The product itself is a development uh, of our customer and it was our responsibility to take that into uh, ease of application with the dip spin process. The dip spin process is mimicking a tub that you would see in your home like a washing machine. Instead of oscillating back and forth, it will spin. The parts are loaded into this tub that is going to revolve. The paint coating that's going to be applied is added to this. The tub is then spun at a relatively high rate of speed to eliminate any excess coating that is on the small parts. The speed is, is slowly dropped, the basket is removed while it is still spinning, and once the paint has drained after the spinning has ceased, the components that are in the basket are then dropped into a conveyor or a hopper which is uh, vibrating at a very high rate of speed to keep them separate so they don't stick together on the line when they're curing. That line feeds itself through an oven which force cures the product. At the other end, the products come out completely dry, cured, and are able to be packed in cardboard boxes or metal containers to be shipped off to the various automotive plants for assembly under hood. The object is to put on as thin a film as possible, to, but to be able to provide protection from the small parts of rusting over sharp edges. Normally two very thin coats are applied just to ensure that there are no holidays or voids to allow any corrosion in the future to penetrate. And it's a very simple, very uh, efficient way of coating multiple small parts in large volume. And it's a development again that our laboratory uh, has worked closely with and it's something that we're, we're very proud of also.